Hi, everyone. It's Carrie. How are we? Uh, you guys know how we always talk about Brooks with his delay tactics. Any, he'll use anything and everything to keep things going on and on and on so that he can avoid the inevitable. Well, this particular day I found kind of interesting because this was the weather delay. And it's not so much the fact that of what everybody else was saying. It seemed like the judge really wanted to be like, look, let's just call it a day. And Sue Opera was like, nah, -uh. I got witnesses here. I got people here. Uh, -uh we're coming back. <laughs> but what was really amazing was, was Darrell's response. Because you know, <laughs> he wanted to do what was right for the people for everyone involved. He wanted to be respectful of everyone in the courtroom. And also he wanted to make sure that the televised um, thing, you know, everything that was being televised, they, we didn't miss a thing of his trial. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay. So let's watch this real quick together. Um, but I may be interrupting if another alert comes in. And you, Mr. Brooks, sorry to interrupt. How much longer do you have? The I, only I, reason I ask is there's some weather coming in and I've had some alerts and I want to make sure everyone gets to a safe <coughs> location. There is a tornado warning, not for us just yet, but um, so I'm, I'll let you finish. Um, but I may be interrupting if another alert comes in. Are they going? <coughs> All right, we're going to take, we're going to take our lunch early then. And uh, I'll rise for the jury. Sorry for the interruption, Mr. Brooks. What? You will. You will. Um, the record should reflect that when we last broke, uh, the court had received information regarding nearby tornado warnings. Ultimately, there were a number of warnings that were issued, some of which affected uh, the immediate area. Um, our alert system ultimately went off with the lights uh, and the audible voice telling everyone to take shelter. Um, and it has been lifted and it was lifted just a short time ago. And I had the parties brought back into the uh, courtroom. I know when we broke on its unexpectedly, um, it was during the uh, cross-examination uh, for, I believe, Mr. Knapp. And I, my thoughts are as follows, is to have Mr. Knapp come back in, I presume he's available, um, and finish his cross-examination. And then frankly, given the severity of the weather that went through, including near my house, and I need to check on my house, um, is to break for the day. So I know there's jurors who live in the area potentially where some of these things happened. I don't want to question everyone about, you know, whether they have power or whether they don't have power. I just think given the gravity of this case and the weather system that went through, I want to make sure people um, are giving their full attention. Um, and I would like to then um, break for the day and then resume tomorrow morning. So that's my plan. Um, as is my practice, though, I will give the parties an opportunity to indicate whether they think differently, but that's what I'd like to do from the state. I understand and I certainly respect the court's concern for uh, the jurors and their, their property and their families. Um, I it's not just I, the jurors, let me just say, there's a, this, obviously there's a lot of folks that are here attending. My, just what I was following in terms of the weather, it's pretty widespread. There were there were things that happened more south of here. There were things that happened north and west of here. Um, there's people from all over, and I just think it would be wise to let everyone break for the day and then you know check on their things and make sure that there are things that they don't need to attend to or attend to as the case may be. So go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sure. No, I, and I understand that, Judge. I, I don't have an argument with that. I just, you know, we obviously have a full slate of witnesses here to go this afternoon. Some have traveled from, like, the Cudahy area or, uh, you know, some distance, not unavoidable. But um, my only other suggestion would be to maybe, you know, take an extended break and let people 
make calls or even go home and check and come back at three o'clock or something if that's a possibility we could still work for a couple hours yet this afternoon but whatever the court thinks is best we certainly will be prepared either way I certainly would be open to maybe an extended break so that I and others could do exactly what you just say I have but I'll hear from you sir if you have any position on that I agree with your first assessment your honor mainly because too with severity and whether that can sometimes mess with the equipment being the trial being televised that can possibly interrupt that and you never know some some people that may be key to this matter may not be able to come back after extended break there I mean there's no way to tell at this point I do believe it would on the air just for cautionary reasons would be wise to kind of break for the day and then reset tomorrow morning or whenever the court feel it's best I may need to do some checking of my own with some close relatives of my own and so I will want to all the people that showed up in court for him he don't have any friends or family thank you he doesn't have anybody to check in on he doesn't take care of his children he's never been a father to them his his baby mamas don't want anything to do with him his own mother doesn't even come and sit behind him during the trial but he's gonna go check on everybody he's concerned about everybody all of a sudden he's concerned about other people is that not what we're getting here like all of a sudden anyway I just had to show you this one because I kind of I found it amusing as I was getting some, some of these clips kind of wound down a little bit so thanks for watching guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon